friends welcome back to my channel my name is Amrita Ram and this is continuation of part one of the series where we're talking about respectful mindful peaceful ways of handling our little children and their not so little tantrums so let's get started one i'm gonna link it down below for you guys so before we move on to today's video let's quickly recap the first five strategies number one acknowledging your child's feelings giving his feelings a name number two creating consistent realistic boundaries number three modeling the right behavior number four creating a peace corner at home for our little children and number five using humor, being silly, being funny with our children. Okay, so let's move on to the next five strategies in this video. Strategy number six is simplifying your parenting process, breaking it down into small little steps. Let me give you an example here. You want your child to clean up the room and obviously he is finding it too overwhelming, the result being uh, outbursts or tantrums. You can say something like, okay, it's time to clean up the room. You can even have a clean up song for it. And then you say something like, okay, so the blocks go back in its bin, the toy cars go back in its box. So in short, getting the child to cooperate by using simple directions. Number seven, offering choices instead of commands or orders. For example, your child is having struggles brushing his teeth. So offer a choice. Okay, would you like to brush your teeth with the red toothbrush or the blue? So when we offer choices to our little children, they can process it way better versus we just commanding or ordering it to them. Number eight, share your real feelings and expectations with your child. As parent, it's impossible for all of us to be calm, be patient, be loving all the time. And that is completely okay. The child needs to understand that we get tired, we get angry, we get upset too. For example, you're really tired and your child wants to play with you. It happens with me all the time. So you say something like, look, I know you want to play with me, but I'm really tired right now. I'll grab a cup of coffee, eat my sandwich, and then I'm gonna play with you. So you have to wait till then. Obviously, the child is not gonna like, he may throw a tantrum, he may cry, he may pull you, he may hit you, but you have to keep reiterating, okay? So here is where the consistent boundaries also come, that you cannot expect mom to play with you when she's hungry, when she needs that coffee break, okay? So share those feelings, share those expectations, obviously in a very respectful, kind way. passing on some responsibility to our little children no matter how little they are because in reality they love helping us around the house so this is a great way to not only make them independent but also making them responsible for small little age appropriate tasks so if you feel that you know clearing a toy mess is always a situation of drama give them responsibility these are your toys and this is how they need to be kept back in its place i feel there's such a thin line between love connection and overindulgence and this is such a tricky spot but i think it's very important sometimes for us to pause step back and let the children get into the driver's seat give them age appropriate responsibilities i feel this is so important and so unique to the entire montessori philosophy again this is one of my favorite and that is getting down to their level okay so when your child is really upset really angry instead of talking from our height it's amazing to get down to their level kneel down bend down look into their eyes and then talk it gives us a moment to pause you know from our level going down to their level so we are having some seconds to just breathe just to think what we can do to make our children feel better and it always helps the children to calm down. Since you guys have been such a wonderful audience, I'm going to give you one more bonus tip. So tip number 11 is 
choosing your battles wisely as parents we cannot be rigid we cannot um, not bend okay so it's important that we stay flexible we give exceptions to the child when need be obviously when the safety of the child is not at stake i feel it's completely okay if the child wants to wear that pink t-shirt instead of the gray t-shirt that you have chosen it's okay if the child wants to wear slippers instead of sandals so be flexible so that you do not feel stressed out and overworked in conclusion i want to reiterate that parenting is not a one size fit all so what may work for you may not work for me so we have to be open minded it's all about trial and error it's all about enjoying those little small things in the parenting journey instead of getting stressed out so i sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this series if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel so that i can catch you guys in my next video bye for now happy parenting